Redditors who dated someone off limits, teacher student, boss, in-laws, etc. How did it end? Any regrets? When I was in the Air Force and a low-ranking airman, I dated a colonel's daughter. We had a good time and he gave her a choice, stay with that nobody or full ride to the U of Missouri. She dropped me like a bad habit. That was nearly what happened with my parents. Except my colonel grandfather told my father that he could marry my mother now and pay for her college, or wait 3 years in Hawaii while she went to college in Texas. I was the assistant manager, he was manager, was amazing for a while and we were a great team, both at work and outside. He was kind of an angry guy though, would get mad at crap like me going up to my best friend's Halloween party without him, which I invited him to. And I'd get frustrated with him because he only took me on 3 dates total over the course of 12 months. Then I found out he had a girlfriend at home. Ruined friendships with my male friends. Ruined my reputation at work. Ruined my self esteem because how stupid am I for staying with him for a whole year? Much regrets. Wow this is like the exact opposite of the top post. I was the front office manager of a holiday inn, and she was the assistant general manager. Everything we did had to be kept very secret. Finally we decided to leave the hotel and move to California. Been married 28 years now. I'm a 5, maybe push 6 on a very good day. Asked out a hard 9 on a whim, knowing I was far exceeding the never more than 2 rule. I've no idea why I would try something like that. It just felt right. Frick me. She said sure, next year we'll be 20 years married, we are total opposites, I've done the same blue collar job for going on 25 years, she has 2 college degrees and is a teacher, I browse reddit, she grades essays, you ask how it ends, can't answer that one yet, I can tell you though that cancer nearly killed me and that woman stood strong as iron and gave me a place to anchor that allowed me to weather the storm, I wouldn't have made it without her. Cancer left me with a partial facial disfigurement and I'm very, very thin. Does not matter to that woman. She loves on me like we are teenagers. I'm the luckiest guy ever and I have no idea why it should be that way. Take away from this. Don't hesitate to ask someone out. Even if you think they are out of your league. I got a dream wife who also saved me. I dated a lecturer in college and we've been together for 8 years now. It was risque and fun then, now we argue about who is doing the washing up. Washing up equals doing the dishes. I was a shift supervisor at Starbucks and fell hard for one of the baristas. We were just friends for a few months hanging out basically every day for hours, and eventually we started dating. Upper management found out due to some drama started by one of our co-workers and we were both given a find new stores or your fired ultimatum. I quit and got a different better job. She transferred stores and quit not too long after that. It all worked out great though. Been married to her for 9 years now. And that job change was the start of me finding a pretty darn good career. I dated one of my professors when I was a college freshman. We waited until the term was over. I believe his words were something along the lines of, the grades are in. So there's nothing wrong with it. We went out a few times, hooked up a few times, too. But ultimately I was 19 or 20, and he was close to 30, so we couldn't even go to a bar or club, and really didn't have much to talk about. We saw each other at a bar probably 5 years later, exchanged numbers, but neither of us called the other. No regerts. My best friend in high school secretly dated our Spanish teacher. She was going through a divorce at the time, and he was really close with her. I kinda knew what was going on, but after he graduated from school, they moved in together and eventually got married and had a kid. She was about 10 years older than he was. She was a real piece of work though. They divorced like 10 years later. It's always the Spanish teacher. Twice. First time was one of my professors. We waited until the semester was over and I was no longer one of his students. Had a really good time and I had to restrain myself from jumping his bones on the first date. He had a sudden change of heart that what we were doing was wrong and there was no second date. I still don't know if he was being honest or if he just wasn't into it. I have no regrets, other than a slightly bruised ego, and then BSP. The second time was with my therapist. Ended up feeling icky. That really is about the shittiest thing a therapist could do. I was the manager and dated my assistant manager. 
It was fun at first then I started to need time outside of work that didn't involve her. Long story short we are married with two kids now and I have no regrets. Not even one letter. I dated my older brother's friend when I was 15 and he was 21. Would not recommend. Really fricked with my relationship with my brother and my family. And dude was a predator and ended up amounting to not much at all. I was dazzled by his worldliness and the attentions of an attractive. Older guy I guess. My current girlfriend was my boss at my old job. Things started getting more serious and better jobs presented themselves for both of us around the same time. Everyone knew, but she never treated me any different in the workplace. It's been a year around Valentine's Day. If you worked at a Walmart in Alabama and now work for DirecTV, we know each other. I had a secret relationship with my boss who was 10 years older than me when I was assistant manager and he was a higher level manager. I was a teenager and needed someone safe to experiment with, so I ended up having really weird sex with him for about 2 years. It was fun but it was supposed to just be a friends with benefits situation. He became very attached, begging me to stay over etc. I moved away and cut contact. Now it's about 15 or so years later, we live in the same area by happenstance. Thinking he's over it I'll let him add me over Facebook. Now he sends me drunk texts facimails which are utterly cringeworthy. So yes I do regret it, a tiny bit. Not dating but I started a FWB relationship with one of my employees. When the relationship started he was in the process of getting hired at a new place so it wasn't really a big deal. We couldn't keep our hands off each other that last two weeks though so it would have never worked out if he was staying. I was 19. She was one week from her 16th birthday. Age of consent in UK is 16. Her parents thought the world of me, and actually nothing physical, as in sex, happened throughout the whole relationship, which lasted all of 4 months. She ended up dumping me because she loved me too much and cowed and handle it. That's exactly what she emailed me to say. LOL. Comma she ended up dumping me because she loved me too much and couldn't handle it. That's the new it's not you, it's me. When I was around 23 or 24 working in a call center, I hung out a lot with my boss who was about 6 or so years older. We became friends at one of the lower points of her life, when she was becoming more distant with her husband. Apparently the friendship was seen as coming onto her and she appreciated the companionship since her husband wasn't giving her that. It eventually led to a friends with benefits situation. Went on a few months but ended when she was found out through some texts on her phone. I ended up transferred to another team cause the husband made a fuss about it and she left the company a few weeks later. Regrets? Yep. Don't mess with anyone who is married. Not worth the hassle even if the sex is great. Same goes for messing with crazy. Work wise though, didn't have issues. I dated my Tay from my freshman intro class after it was over. She convinced me to sign up for the other class she was teaching in the spring. We broke up soon after in the fall before the second class. We got back together during the spring class. I would walk to that class with her after having sex with her right before. I got an A for the course. We broke up soon after and never talked again. Only regret was wasting so much of my freshman year. My college girlfriend, I am female, too, dated her married female club volleyball coach basically through high school and part of college. The coach basically broke up with her when she got pregnant by her husband. It shattered my ex's life. I mean, she was seriously fricked up about it for years and probably still is to some degree. Ever since I found out, I have wanted to turn her in. She is still coaching girls, but obviously I have no way of knowing whether she is being inappropriate with them, nor do I have any proof that it happened between her and my ex, other than my ex's word and fricked upness over it all. I dated my best friend, whom my older brother had a huge crush on. Just to be clear, she was never interested in my brother, and, I thought, neither of us thought of the other as dateable for our entire just friends relationship. I always thought of her as off limits, due mainly to us being friends and never being single at the same time, but also because my brother's crush and all, reciprocated or not. One day, our group ended up being busy and we ended up hanging out by ourselves all night. We had both now been single for a few months. She pinned me against the wall mid conversation and gave me the best kiss of my life. Woo for cowgirls. Totally unexpected. 
but everything just clicked into place. She then proceeds to tell me her feelings toward me, and that she would have said something sooner but I was never single, I moved between relationships quickly back then, as all teenagers seem to do. I told her roughly the same story, but also that I thought she saw me as only a friend. Apparently I was wrong. We've been married for 8 years now, together for 11, with a 7 year old son. My brother eventually got over it after we finally told him, which took about 6 months to get to. We didn't know what to tell him at first, he's my brother and he introduced me to her. It's not that I didn't know his feelings toward her, but I also knew hers towards him. I introduced him to a friend of mine from college a couple months later, and now they've been together almost 10 years with 3 kids, he still thanks me constantly for introducing them. I tell him I'm just returning a favor. I have been a server for a long time and made the mistake of getting trapped into a relationship with my manager. I made a drunken mistake of hooking up with her, and she made me promise that it wasn't just a one night thing and that I wanted to be with her. I am naked in the bed of the person who controls my income, the schedule, so I couldn't say no. The thing about the restaurant industry is that you put 20 young, good looking people together who are all charming and flirtatious, by nature. She couldn't handle me being flirtatious and having a great time with more beautiful and younger women. She also couldn't handle the fact that I am extremely good at my job and made 3 times as much as her and worked half the hours. She would get upset when I would continue to go out for drinks with my co-workers after our shifts while she had to close. I am sorry, but I can't just go home to bed after working a fast paced dinner service and the only place open at 11pm is the bar. She ended up leaving me for a line cook who made less money and only had other male line cooks to work with. Comma I have been a server for a long time. Took me a minute to realize that you weren't a computer server. I briefly dated my boss's boss. There was an over 30 year age difference. I'd go to his office for meetings and we'd just spend it fooling around. I had just gone through a bad breakup and I just wanted to be with someone ambitious and dependable. What my ex wasn't. He was nice enough but eventually the excitement went away. I began to think of what I was doing and it really started to turn me off. I started getting the feeling that he was manipulating me and taking advantage of me. When I think about it now I'm pretty sure he did it to other women who worked there. It was all consensual but it makes me slightly ill thinking about it. My friend had a crush on a girl for years and I ended up dating her. I did ask for his blessing beforehand and he took it as well as anyone in that situation could. But our friendship was never the same and I haven't seen him in years. I think this might have just happened for me. I wonder if I can look at my friend the same way. Slept with high school football coach from when I was 16 to graduation. Only guy on the team who never had to run punishment laps. Almost got caught late one night when his wife came home from work early. He threw me out of his second story bedroom window naked and I drove home nude at 3am. He threw me out of his second story bedroom window naked. I'm imagining him literally throwing you out like a football. I dated a married woman who was 8 years older than me. Yes I knew her husband. The problem was the long distance aspect and we mutually ended it. Well, I come from a family where there are more second cousins than first and third combined, so you probably know where that led. I was an airman and started dating my supervisor. We kept it under wraps until we both changed jobs. Just got married a couple months ago and I've been super happy. I think I won him over with all the BJS I gave him. Comma I think I won him over with all the BJS I gave him. Sounds like you've got this relationship thing figured out. Not sure this counts but I was 15 and he was mid 30s we met online and lived in different counties. I was depressed and medication wasn't helping if anything made it worse. Self esteem in the rut and felt like I was a waste of space. Then I started chatting with him and suddenly didn't feel worthless. I believe I was desperate for some kind of connection since I cut myself off from everyone else. I felt like family friends saw me as messed up while this guy understood me. I was stupid. I thought it was love convinced myself that it did t matter there was 20 age difference. That it wasn't creepy at all that he started discussing graphic sexual things he wanted to do. That he wanted to pay my way to live with him. It was a year later I realized how scary this was. 
how possessive he was becoming and how his obsession with talking or seeing me on cam wasn't normal. I managed to pull myself out of the hole enough to see a therapist and cut off ties with him. Looking back on that I feel so much regret and disgust. I wish I had reached out for help or told my parents or something before all of that happened. There is a brilliant book about a professor who sleeps with one of his students, which leads to his whole life falling apart. It's called Disgrace by John Kelletsy. It won a man Booker Prize and he won the Nobel Prize for Literature. I didn't expect to enjoy it, but I couldn't put it down. It was so well written. I was a 19 year old server, and he was the 27 year old GM of the restaurant I worked at. I had a boyfriend that I lived with at the time. At first I would just stay up late and talk to him over instant messenger all night. Soon we started hanging out. I thought I was madly in love with him. Broke up with my boyfriend and moved out to be with him. Shortly after, he decided that I was too young for him and that he would lose his job if the owner found out so he broke up with me. A couple days apart and we ended up back together. We were at a party that the head chef of the restaurant was at. He saw us together and told the owner the next day. All heck broke loose the next day, but he didn't fire us. Fast forward 12 years later. We have been happily together ever since. Married 7 years. Have a 7 year old son. With another son due in May. Neither of us work there anymore. He sells wine and spirits. I'm a bank manager. Nor have we in quite some time. Sometimes things don't start so great. But if you don't take a risk. You never know how great your life could actually turn out. Dated a married administrator when I was in college. He was sad and lonely. I was going through a rough time with my friends. It worked. It wasn't anything very serious, since he was obviously very conscious of the risk he was taking. Just a lot of stolen nights spent sneaking. His keycard let him in anywhere. Into random places on campus to kiss and talk about life. The stage of the theater was probably my favorite. It ended when I moved away after graduating. And no, no regrets. We never got caught. I only told my roommates until after I graduated, as he requested. Some of his co-workers knew about us. Others he told I was cooperating with a case administration had been trying to build against another student, which I had nothing to do with in real life, so that we would have an excuse to be seen together, and so they'd let me off the hook when I got in trouble. I pretty much had a free pass when it came to getting caught drinking smoking other minor crap. And he was a good guy. I think we were both good for each other for what it was. I still have his number. Probably not so good for his wife. Had sex with my dad's best friend's daughter. One time for fun on vacation at the beach no strings. She was into it. We had a great week together. My dad will no longer hold a conversation with me longer than he has to to be polite. Truth time. He told me to back off and said it wouldn't end well. So I agreed to not try and date her. Some drinks happened and one thing led to another on a deck facing the beach. I have no regrets. My thinking is he is a 60s child and general speaking led a wild younger life. He has no call to judge my or her actions. Her parents are these fundy religious types who think people shouldn't think about sex pre-marriage. With that fuel added to the fire they didn't speak to me for a while but now they are very polite. Don't get invited to their gatherings anymore either. Ah well I still think it was worth it. I dated the CFO's daughter at my company. I was fired for looking at inappropriate things according to my profile there. I was an intern. She was my boss. Became best friends. Then dated in secret for a year. Now married and expecting our first kid. No regrets. I dated a girl in 10th grade with racist parents. I went to her bowling alley that she was at with her grandparents. Her grandparents called her mom. I had to run out the bowling alley and hide in the bushes until my mom came and picked me up. They threatened to move her schools if I was ever seen with her again. She broke up with me so fast. And about two weeks later she was with my best friend. I was crushed. I live in Alabama and for the longest I just thought I won't ever be able to date any girl because their parents wouldn't like me for being mixed. Comma racist parents. Comma Alabama. Oh. I dated my co-worker at Walmart. We both left Walmart, have now been dating for 3 years, and I'm studying aerospace engineering and she is working on a marketing degree. Moral of the story is always date your co-workers. Can confirm. 
am a co-worker. A few years ago, I dated my boss. It didn't interfere with our work at all. It took a few months for anyone to find out. We've been married for a year and a half now. I started dating the manager at a movie theater I worked at. Didn't start off great, since neither of us wanted to cause problems or get in trouble. Eventually, we couldn't stay away from each other and had to keep the relationship. So I switched jobs and now we've been dating for a year. I like to call it a success. He was 10 years older and he was my music teacher. I was 16 and he was 26 the first time we had sex. I met him when I was 15. From there we saw each other for 4 years. I moved out of my parents home at 17 to be with him. I still talk to him today. I just turned 20 and he just turned 30. I love him just as much today as I did 5 years ago. He broke my heart in every way but I wouldn't trade my time with him for the world. I will never love another man as intensely as I do and did love him. I'm currently dating my boss. She's an amazing woman I wouldn't trade her for anything in the world there no special treatment at work and we try to keep it hush hush. But everyone knows, including her boss which is totally cool with it as well. Hooked up with my manager whose boyfriend also worked with us one time. Went on for a little while and she broke up with him because she wanted to experience new things. New dongs apparently. Had to go to Planned Parenthood to get antibiotics in case she had given me chlamydia because she had gotten it from another dude she banged around the same time. She was demoted and eventually moved away. And no one ever kicked my butt. So I feel like I got off lightly. Started dating my current so when I was tutoring him in comp C. Declared it as a conflict of interest so someone else had to mark his assignments and lived happily ever since. So yeah, no regrets so far. I was a bouncer at a bar concert venue. I dated my general manager for nearly 4 years. I was the second employee she dated. The one before me didn't react so well to being broken up with. Walked off the job in a jealous rage and my GM got a talking to from the owner about never dating another employee. We had to keep it a secret, but after a while it was an open secret. I was passed over for promotion several times while dating her, but eventually became a manager, while still with her. She broke up with me a lot. It seemed like she wanted me to fight for her and that was how she got that feeling. It was difficult seeing her in the bar, where we hung out a lot, and not being able to be with her until we went home. I eventually got another job so we could be public and she broke it off in a matter of days after. At that point I was so numb to the sensation that I just accepted it and didn't even try to get her back. She called me a few months later asking me if I loved her, sounding all wistful and such. Some old jive. I did, but I was also glad to be off of the roller coaster. I ended up getting my job back a few months later. That was 8 years ago and I still work there with her. We're good friends. We don't hang out except for at work. Mostly because I'm married and I'm fairly introverted while she's very extroverted. But when we're at work we enjoy each other's company. We talk like old friends and are very honest with each other. She's only had 3 boyfriends since and 2 have been bouncers. She has a type. But it makes sense that the job that pretty well ties up her life is also her dating pool. Plus, bar workers keep odd hours. We work much better together now because I don't feel like I'm walking on eggshells trying to avoid pee her off. I know my job. I'm good at it. I know I'm valued and I don't have anything to lose by giving her the straight dope. I generally try to make it easy to break up with me. No sense in being a jerk. Burning bridges and throwing tantrums. If a lady doesn't want to be with me then why would I want to be with her? Break it off amicably. Be nice. Maybe get your job back. Maybe have some NSA sex. Maybe get a decent reputation with the local crowd of ladies. And end up having runs-ins at the local grocery store that aren't freaking awkward cause you were a prick. Being nice is a win-win. I'd say it worked because she's incredibly intelligent and I work to squash drama ASAP. When I was 17 I worked at Zoomies in the mall. I ended up dating my 24 year old assistant manager. I would rest my head on her lap on a bench in the mall while she fed me gummy worms. One of the best years of my life. She ended up telling me she was moving to SoCal to pursue a skateboard modeling career or something. Completely out of the blue, the day before our one year anniversary, the next day our manager found out, but I guess he couldn't do anything since he had no proof and the relationship was already over. Oh well. 
If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.